after snapping their losing streak two days ago, the University of Santo Tomas, Ust, Growling Tigers were able to ride on that momentum to rout the University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons. It was all smiles for the team and head coach Alden Ayo who led the University of Santo Tomas to their first back-to-back -back wins, ending the first round of 3-4 slate. They were just playing basketball, they're having fun, and they were playing as a team. I think that was the difference compared to our previous games, said Ayo during the post-game press conference. As the league progresses, for sure the rookies will learn. Not only the rookies, of course, but also the holdovers. CJ Cancino start again for the Growling Tigers especially in the first half as he tallied 16 points after going 5 of 6 from the field. Company rookie Ken Zamora then stepped up in the second half go help maintain the lead. The Growling Tigers had a chance of blowing out the Katipunan-based squad as they entered the quarter up by 30 point. The Fighting Maroons then rallied back to outscore them 26-10, but Ust was able to survive the comeback. Coach said that we're small, so I have to help in rebounding as a small man. I'm doing my best to follow and do whatever coach says to help the team. Admitted Cancino on what he has to work more since the team lost big man Steve Acomo to injury. Patience was also the key to the Growling Tigers team both in the game and in practice as they are expected to come out stronger in the second round with their newfound groove. The value of patience starts in practice because the coaches don't give up on us. If there is a small mistake, we need to correct it so that when it comes to the game, it will just continue. Said Zamora.The Growling Tigers will start the second round against the Far Eastern University Tamaraz, who claimed a share of second place with defending champion Ateneo on Sunday, October 14, 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena.